Yo, what's up, guys? Be by HCN here, and yeah, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to like make um lock drums, how to make them sound nice. I'm going to show you like four different lock patterns that you can start using today for your beat, and a little bit of tips and tricks on how you can put rows in there, you know. So without wasting much of the time, let's just get straight into the tutorial. So yeah, we're going to be using this beat, just a demo beat, nothing serious. So it sounds like this. So yeah, and this is going to be like the first phase. I'll actually make more videos like with time. If you guys like this kind of um tutorial, I'll make more videos just to help you guys improve on your log drums. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Before we get into this, I just want you guys to know that there's no good, there's no um like a must of what you do on your log drums. I just want to like show you guys a few tips and tricks that you can use to like improve on your log drum basically. That's just what this video is all about and some log drum pattern i feel like you should know so yeah for this one i'm going the first log jump pattern i'm going to be showing you guys is called a house log i like personal that's what i call it it's like used for i'm a piano house music so and i feel like when you want to do this kind of log drum uh i don't like putting in a piano or sound i just basically want the drums to hit you know and this is what it sounds like So this is like one log drum pattern i feel like everybody should know like everybody should know this pattern okay it's like a house music pattern boom 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 so i feel like everybody should know this and yeah if you notice the second bass and after this first one before it gets to the third um key i raised it up octave so like i might piano just basically when you make your log drum basically moving through octaves that gives that vibe and yeah if i want to like add a roll for instance into this um log drum i will add it in the second part like i'm going to add it in this one that i took up the octave for instance and i like to turn my stuff to narrowest when making um my rolls so let's hit this like this and let's see what it sounds like can add another one around here okay for many of you thinking like ah, how am i knowing where i'm supposed to put the log drum just listen to the kick let me give you a secret like you know the kick is going four by four four by four one two three four one two three four one two three four one two three four so what you can do is let your um the the log drum rows that you are adding let them come after the kick hits you understand like listen to this side that i added a, a, a roll here two, three four you see this is immediately the kick two three four you see one two three maybe the fourth kick hits that's when the roll came in one mm, 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 mm. you see and for this one i'm always putting it after the kick the kick hits one two three in this case i put it after the third kick after the third kick so that is like a secret See, let's let's just fake adding a kick like i just did here so if you realize when this kick hits after this kick you get a roll after this kick you get a roll after this kick i can just randomly put a roll around this side so let's listen to what it's going to sound like I see this one too after the kick hit so that's like a technique you can use like after your kick adding your rolls like maybe in your third side around this side around this side before you bring in a new um key so i hope you guys understand this so this is like the first um log drum i feel every producer should know you know every producer should know this log drum pattern for hammer piano house and yeah 
So moving on, the next one I'm going to be showing you guys is called it's called a two-step. So um, this is what it sounds like. This is like basically very easy. Sounds like this. So it's like the name says mm, one two you see i'm just doing one two you know one two so yeah this is like a one two one two one two kind of like just two then around all this side that you see me putting this is where you can just add your rows if you want to add a row <laughs> can add your rows like i say always put this in in triplet and adding the rows man that's what that sound like. so you can play around don't be too serious when making your log drum so it's like a two two the first one is the ama piano house kind of log drums and this one i feel like when making this kind of um log drum due to the fact that it doesn't really come every time you can play in your your chords, like bringing the chords to sound. And this is what it's going to sound. You see. So like this is like start using this on your beat. Copy this if you like. And the next one I'm going to show you guys is called a call and response. Why do I call it a call and response? Like personally, it comes after the piano talks. So it's like. The piano plays, okay, let me solo just the piano and this log drum. So, listen, you understand what I'm talking about. So, you can see the log drum comes in after the piano speaks. So that's why I call it a call and response. And it's not compulsory you like fix it the way I'm fixing it. You can be more creative and yours can even sound better than what you are hearing right now. I'm just trying to give you guys like a guideline that you can use to get that good log drums, okay? So for this third one, like I said, it's a call and response. Whatever beat you're making, after the piano plays, you respond with your log drum. Like they're having a communication. And yeah, let me bring in this drum loop so that that I did so that we can have a better feel of what it sounds like. So so you can see it's a call and response. Please and please, it's not a must, like I said, you do it the way I'm doing it. What's more important to me is that you are understanding the technique uh, that you can use, okay? The first one is something I feel like, okay, you can copy because it's like... It's like composure for everybody to know, okay? So please, 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 please. Remember, 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 call and response. The next one I'm going to show you is called a trial. Like these names are just personally named by me. So it's not like, ah, uh, you get. Yeah, it sounds like this. So yeah, this is another one that you can just learn. Like it's a triplet. And the good thing about what I'm showing you is you can start with these four patterns that I've showed you right now and build with it. Okay. When you are building with it, just be going octaves higher, octaves lower, octave higher, octave lower. For instance, let's say, okay, I learned this one now and I say, ah, I want to use this one to create my own. And I lay down what I've just laid already and I want to add more things. So I'll just... Be creative and this is the octave of this right i just put in something here then you see i can put that there and i can decide to like add a roll or something so let's do that you can add another roll around this side i'm building with this technique that i just showed you guys 
always it I, I always try to like put my rolls in a higher octave so that it comes out well. Add another roll around this side. Like I said, I'm building with this um pattern that I just showed you guys. I'm trying to show you that this can be like a starting point for you guys. That's the um benefit of knowing this technique that I'm showing you guys. Okay. That's the benefit. You can use that as a starting point and you start building your own lock drums. Let's take this off. So I can bring in everything so. So like take your time like now i have to take my time and beat something nice you understand so that's what i'm basically saying right now so yeah personally for me this kind of ama piano this kind of like powerful ama piano kind of beat i don't overthink it i just play around like i say just know you're playing with your root notes don't think it like something like this now i didn't really think it so i don't really know how to explain this thing so that you understand but this is what it sounds like this part of the song the lock drum i use now listen to this other side this time around i added a snare to add a little bit of character you understand and this snare this is where it is, so it sounds like this together with the, the Lord drum. this kind of log drum now i didn't really think much you understand um but if you want to make log drums like this let me show you like something that you need to know a log drum pattern you need to know you see this to the doom is something that you must know like to do doom just put that in your head when you're making your log drum. you want to do that to the doom let's see that this particular one right here there's another one you have to know first one sounds like this no matter how you are laying your log drums remember to add this then remember to add this something like this as and if you notice my rows like i thought a few minutes ago were always coming after the kick hits you see what i told you guys after the kick hits mm, krum, mm, krum. like if you did not learn anything at all in this whole video and you just remember that your role should come in after sorry i have our factor so not whole role <laughs> that your role should come in after your kick hits i'm okay you understand if you don't learn take anything from this video just remember that one technique you can use to make your rolls sound nice is bringing them in after the kick hit. And we're just basically going octave higher, octave lower. Please, if you can take this, only this one, say, if you can take it like this, I'm okay, I'm satisfied. You know, every other thing in log drum is just basically your creativity. And if you can rewatch this video multiple times and just learn those four patterns that I just showed you guys, and you can use it to like work more on your um log drums um just let me know and if you feel like this video didn't really make justice to um the log drum tutorial feel free to let me know i'm ready to make 100 videos of log drum tutorial as long as you guys get it i'm okay you understand so if this video i've just done now is not enough for you guys let me know in the comment section and i will try my best to do another log drum video and do multiple and multiple log drum patterns 
for you guys. I feel like, okay, pattern should even be good. Maybe I'll do another four log drum pattern so that I feel that would be good. Another log drum pattern for you guys. So, yeah, take away from this. Your log drum, start with your root notes. Don't think much about it. Just play around with your keys. Hit them, boom, 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 then, do, 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 do. then you come back here and fix it. Okay, your rows, always put your rows after the kick hits, you know, around this side, maybe around this side, around this side, just after the kick hit, boom, boom, you add your rows. So I think this is like basically everything that I can say. And for log drums, like this kind of log drum, you want to add a little bit of snare underneath it, you know, that live snare drums to like make it sound um, a little bit aggressive and nice, you know, and yeah, this is what I mean. And So remember to add snares when making log drums like this. And for me, I'm using my stock log drums and a few maybe FF Studio log drums had some certain things that you certain um presets you can use to also make your log drum sound nice. And I'm going to look for a third party. Um, I think I saw one producer so, so I'm going to try to get that and show you guys um that log drum as well so please and please like i said if you can even take away only that after the kick log drum rolls come in i'm cool but if you feel like i didn't make justice to this video let me know and i'll try to make another video for you guys uh just watch this multiple times and get those four patterns and start making your armor piano drums and enjoy yourself when making beats um yeah that's the most important thing when you make beats and you don't enjoy yourself Nah, it doesn't make sense. So, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Remember to stay positive and positive things will always happen to you. Remember to give me a like, thumbs up, and comment your thoughts. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.